we actually have a script this time, so. <laughs> Most of the animals we consider cute have put more people on t-shirts than as animals as... we actually see as dangers. Yeah, yeah as like... soon as you uh, start the video, I'll just go, Animal facts with Austin, or with Santa and Rocco. I mean, <laughs> you do also have the old thing with what platypi are like, with a... I think, I think it's the males that are poisonous. Yeah, uh, yes. the, the, the males. Yeah, the males will poison you, and there's really no fucking antidote. Yep, like it's not deadly, but at the same time, it will mess. It up hurts your day. for months. <laughs> no, no, no. You know the one that actually makes me fear the most, despite the fact I will never encounter one. Uh, mm. Irukanji. Those like I've tiny, tiny little jellyfish. That are some of the yes. most important toxic in the world. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, those things then are there's awesome. the uh, the blue spotted squid thing. Oh, I can't uh, remember what they're octopus. called, though. The ring yeah. octopus. Yeah. yeah. They're adorable. Uh, <laughs> they are. I, I would like to state, though, that we can, we can talk about, like, venom and shit, but I'm from the state that is known for being dangerous because of dysentery. I'd like to just put that out there. <laughs> I'm from fucking Listen Kansas. Day. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that reminds me. I think I said this to some people before, but there was a news story over here recently saying that the town I live in was voted the happiest place to live in the UK. Well, Last year, wasn't it voted like one of the worst? Yes. Uh, that's what I, that's what we were all laughing at. It's like, yeah. We know why it was voted that. They went out into the town centre, they found the people off their heads on spice, and they took the uh, permanently pasted grins and the seizures as nodding their heads. So it's like, oh yeah, no, look, they're clearly happy. Wow. Um, but yeah, no. This... Anything to raise morale. <laughs> I... Happy. Morale went, out, morale went out the window years ago for this town. <laughs> Yippee Kai, mama fucker. I'm ready to step out of the tree. Well, out of the tree now. Well, we have to record if it's the tree is ready to step seconds, out of the tree. So. <laughs> wait, wait, we can curse Hello, now, right? Welcome they to the devil darlings. They, We're here to what? They won't demonetize if we curse, right? Like that's the thing YouTubers said. Oh yeah. fuck no. Yeah. God. Well, yeah. the YouTubers could swear without risking demonetization. Good yeah, because yeah, well, we I'm just gonna... probably gonna happen a little bit more with uh characters like but... speaking out a little more of what they feel. But we can't talk about firearms apparently. Oh well see, that's okay. I'm okay with that. Oh, kids kids that, don't need that, to know about that anyway. That fucking sucks. I like lighting my arms on fire. <laughs> The oh, Second Amendment, God. every person is allowed to hang a pair of bear arms on their if wall. Fuck, exactly. <laughs> or also, also Article 2 of the Second Amendment, fun fact, because I take a constitutional fucking class here. Uh, you also have the right to arm bears. To arm bears? Really? <laughs> Why you would fucking do that, that, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, Bear so artillery. Big. Get all of the get all of the sarcastic people in a room, and you have the devil darlings. You have the right to bear arms. I have a right to a pair of bear arms. <laughs> so we'll leave off our session then. What's this? Why why is this spread over from Tuesday? Why is Castle Waffle what? Burger thing? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Waffleberg was never here. I swear, I will do a third a session a week based on Monster Hunter. You'll just be here going against the Gulayaku with Waffleberg's voice. I'll, ju I'll just <laughs> be the fucking Gulayaku. <laughs> Wait, can somebody, like, put a camera up so that they can record a session? And then once you guys get the first session recorded, the editing, I'll I'll do a voiceover for it. <laughs> like, there'll be no actually, like, there'll be a little bit of, like, you guys talking, but then, like, during the dead zones of, like, where nothing's really happening for you guys, I'll start voiceovering it, like, we're watching it as a nature channel. Either a nature channel or just, like, a golfing voice. So, yeah. seven peeps here, so we have to do one of those lovely rolls. Do you know what the most annoying part is? Hmm. Roll the Frida, I'm pretty sure Inferno's still AFK. I'll do it. In bueno. I'll do it. Okay. 
We have a volunteer. Okay, I gotta find the lyrics because I've also gotta edit the lyrics. <laughs> Remember the lyrics are pinned. I, 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 really should, I really should be guessing this by now. Whenever Raka volunteers, it's generally because Raka's got new lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> well, also because this is technically the perfect time to introduce who's next. Well, yes. No. Well, my well? dear sir, I would tend not to agree. I like your colors, though. They're very nice. Ah, da, 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 right there. Oh, was that the song? No. Oh. No, I was just, I was just gonna <laughs> do the song right now, actually. <laughs> Is that music? At the end of every week, each one of us becomes a geek. Tonight the DM makes her move, and all our magic fills the air. This brushy field won't let me go. I'll let the bark take control. At the end of every week, each one of us becomes a tree. <laughs> yes, that's a hint of things to come. So, last time. Some of you middle finger activates. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So, last time. Some of you had to encounter not exactly your worst nightmares, but more an alternative way of how things could have gone. A way where you would have been more happy. Only to be ripped away from that happiness as soon as you either fought back realizing it was an illusion, or in the case of Miasma, got slapped so hard by Cody <laughs> that you basically walk up. Pretty sad that I missed that session then. I, I mean, Grace was waiting outside, but Cody was as well, technically, so if, if you were there, you could have run in as well. Uh, <laughs> after being torn away from your visions, you ran in, and you managed to save the ice cream wizard from the cultists and priests that technically weren't even violent. None of them really fought back. And after making them swear to not really worship their god too much anymore, or to at least not force their religion onto others, under violence of death, of course, you managed to shut down the second generator. Only for the power to be redirected again. Upon next thing, you were greeted by the small little red panda people again. Who told you that they had captured an abomination. And that they had seen smoke billowing up from the little fort down here that you know the rebels were living in. You sent the ice cream wizard. And the little red pandas, and whoever was left of the cultists, off to go live with Smitty for now. And along the way, Ix met their demise at the hands of Cody. After some notes and some messages from a W, a certain W. Wabba <laughs> Fat? <laughs> no, yes. it was why not his pre-evolution. God! <laughs> fair, fair enough. No, it was Wormple. It was Wiggler. It was <laughs> Weedle. It was a Wiggler. <laughs> it was a Wiggler from Monster Hunter. It just popped out the ground, wiggled its head, and just left a note. So, we begin today's session. With Cody, probably still feeling a bit of guilt. Not really wanted to talk about it too much. Hiding behind Una after having been told it'll all be all right from the trees. Oh, yes, she did. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so Cody is both not want to speak due to trauma, but also because of paranoia. Uh, I'm assuming Aloe isn't feeling too great either at this moment. After having seeing... a minor brain buffer. <laughs> yeah, after seeing her friend Shank, what was essentially her adoptive mother? Domino's is feeling great, but Domino isn't here. Hmm. Domino is basically doing that routine from that Tom uh, Cruise movie, which just shows like the inside of a house through the little porch thing. He just slides in in just a shirt, undies, and shirts. 
<laughs> See, he's I almost the, he's doing the dance at the end of Tropic Thunder. <laughs> Since we're talking about he's Tom doing, Cruise, he's been doing the whole thirty. He feels just all around wonderful. You know, he's he's happy with himself. He's doing a dance. <laughs> So, mm. In truffle shuffle. No, oh, he can't anymore. He's been doing the whole thirty. <laughs> <laughs> he so, can do the abble rabble. You were all heading down to try and get to the fortress, I believe, the little fort to try and save them. Yes, they were. A day's travel will take you roughly here, if I recall right, before you would have to make camp. So I'm going yeah. to do a couple of nice little rolls here because I found another one of these lovely tables where I can roll on shit. <laughs> so let's see what we get. What? That's confusing <laughs> of how you do this. What? It's like, oh yeah, no. Here's the choice of how you do this. Roll a 1d8 plus a 1d12. Why? Oh, for probably higher numbers? Uh, No, it's just saying 1d8 plus 1d12. Because it like starts off at 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 20. And like, that makes no sense. Just roll a d20. <laughs> Make it easier on yourself. Yeah, pretty much. Just roll a d20. So we're about to leave at a minute, sorry? Uh, you are currently just outside of the... Actually, you'd be a bit more further along because you did walk a bit before the whole X situation happened. So, you're on the map. You're pretty much here at the moment where Allo is. Just Need having not finished worry, the dear. village assault. You're not lost. Ten. Ten. Okay, that works. So, as you're walking along, this will be probably happening roughly here-ish. Uh, give me some Percepti boys. Perception, y'all. Some of those Perceptis. Who is that? Oh, it's no. me. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, it's me. I'm being <laughs> too loud. I would have laughed <clears> if you rolled a nat one on it when it does turn out to be you, and it's like, Who is that? It's I saw something. It's me! Well, see, the whole thing is, like, everyone will encounter Banfliff as he unravels from a tree. Like, the tree will become his his being. Like, he will slowly, like, the tree will start to, like, fall apart, break down, shed leaves, and then there'll be an 11-foot tree man standing in front of you. That is what he is. Yep. Sorry so, to ruin it for everybody else, but... That's fine. So, yeah. Are you doing that now? I mean... Waiting? I would like to know what's happening first. I rolled a 20. Okay, so... You, as well as yours, and Aloe, you hear something nearby. Just a bit of growling, a bit of sniffling. And... Finally, if you see this. Uh, it's a pack of wolves. Yeah, he's going to unravel from his tree um, and, and become himself, <laughs> like, right next to everybody. And um, in fact, that would what be... types of trees did you say were down uh, here? I believe I said it was, like, pine trees, fir trees, oak trees, like, a nice mixture. Okay, so It's then... basically like people just took, like, seeds from all different trees and just tried to plant them just to get a nice... It's slash R, right? Yes. Slash RD3? Uh, yeah. Also, there are seven dials. Oh, it are. won't... It won't let me... Uh, slash R space 1D3. Oh. Okay. So what was the second one you said? Fur, right? Yes. So the fur I'm tree next to them. Like, yeah. So he's gonna be a dark wood! Woo! <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> uh... Allo and duels. You hear the wolves nearby, but before you can even see them, one of the nearby fir trees starts to move. Cool. I, I, like, I, I'm a druid. 
this happens a lot. I'm not going to really take time or anything out of my way to like do anything. I'm looking for the wolves. Well, the tree speaks to you before you go off. They're about ten feet out, just on the other side of those trees. Don't mind okay. them. Jim and Barry but, are very nice. By, by the way, trees aren't supposed to be able to talk calm and just, just letting you know so you don't blow your cover or whatever. But thank you. I'm not blowing my cover at all. Everyone else, you can hear this and actually see this tree person. Yeah, I guess like it's leaning like over, cover. just like know. Yule's probably isn't even looking at this point. I imagine he just doesn't no, care. No, Yule's no, Yule's really isn't looking. Being, Yule's is being me. Yule's right now, which is a pretentious piece of shit. <laughs> so the tree, so Banfliff is like, you know, you see this eleven foot tall like wooden tree man, just like arcing I... at an awkward angle with both hands on his hips, looking Hi. down at Yule's. Yeah. Hi, Dion. Hello. Hi. Oh, sorry, I was late. Josh just left. It's okay. Um, I figured that Josh was still off. <laughs> but I think Michael was trying to say something as well. Oh, and I was just saying, um, Grace is, um, as she, w Grace kind of like doesn't mean to, but she, w due to the giant, uh, humongous talking tree, she can't help but stir without realizing a little bit. <laughs> so. Oh. Like, Open mouthed. Uh, <laughs> in in amazement. Uh, Cody. Yeah. You will recognize this to be the voice that spoke to you after the X incident. Huh? I huh. know your voice. Why, yes, you do, my dear. And at the same time, little pink thing, though I enjoy your. Colors and social humor. I Thanks. would say that you kind of kindly leave Barry and Jim alone. What about her? Huh? Barry and Jim, the wolves, I said, were about 10 to 15 feet away through those trees. They're very nice people. They mean no harm. They're just looking for their food this evening. Sorry, does anybody know what this tree's saying? I can't hear him. Like I, I, I hear, I hear the common like. Other than that, anybody speak tree? I mean, I do, and it's not even coming through for me. I mean, That's because I'm not just a tree. He's not speaking tree. I mean, it's coming through. Kind of. Uh, hold on, I think I'm going through a tunnel. <laughs> Don't mind him. He's always like this. Pixie Yule's up. Does this help you get better reception, friend? Now, I believe Whisper made this same mistake, but the moment the Yules gets fucking manhandled, he's holding his hand out with flame. Put me the fuck down before I burn you and your entire fucking trees. You got that? For Druid, you're very sassy and puts you back on the ground. I'm only trying to help you. Touch me again, and I burn everything! My lord, are we sure he's actually a druid? I'm a wildfire druid. Suck it. Man, that explains a lot. Yeah, like I said, don't mind him. Also, I know this is a little bit of an out character thing, but Dion? Mm-hmm? We have one more person for Wild Rift now. Rebecca started playing it yesterday. Oh, cool. <laughs> Anywho. Who will? I won't hold introductions any longer, though I know a majority of you. You may not know me. Who wrote the highest beside Banfliff? That would be Allo. Allo? I heard your voice! I don't like people in my head! Well, this is going on. <laughs> Out the corner of the eye, you do see the wolves finally through the trees, like ten foot away or so. Uh, it seems to be three adults and four pups. Oh. Well, Allo would be highly used by the puppies. Uh, one of the adults does seem to be quite scarred. Like injured or... Do you... um, they look like old scars. But at the same time, it doesn't look like it was from wolves fighting each other. It looks more like they've been poked with sharp sticks. Oh. Huh. 
So just uh, waves friendly at the wolves and then goes back to looking at Van Fluff. <laughs> a couple of the pups take notice. The adults, not too much, mainly because you're a large group. Even though they are dire wolves, they don't feel like you could be taken down as prey. Hey, 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 hey. Yes? Stay out of my head. I... Not in What's your head. Your... I was oh, actually no. simply... Speaking to you, but only you, my dear. What's in your head? Tree man, tree man, tree man. <laughs> Farming just says like trees. Copy right there. Right. What was that, my dear? Do we really I... need the little wannabe dragon in the party? I. I mean, it's not really your choice. It wasn't my fucking choice, and I am a dragon. You wannabe fiend. I actually am a fiend, though. You're actually just yeah. A fucking now. suck it. Yeah, but you, my friend, are just a kobold right now. So therefore, you are a wannabe dragon, whereas I am... Yeah, and you're just a fucking bunny rabbit! During this argument, he just kind of, like, reaches down to the ground and then just brings a bush up between them. I just think that that's enough bickering. Sword, by the way. Hmm? Cody would have pulled her sword to being called a bunny rabbit. Yeah, I think that that's enough. You don't like fucking being oh, misgoddamn numbered, you bastard. <laughs> Yeah, I've been here for the past, like, 10 minutes. I went out to the shop to buy stuff, and I realized I put the wrong coat on, so I didn't have anything with me. No, I, uh, no, yes. So. It didn't work. Didn't work well. Yep. The wolves just kind of watch you cautiously before heading further into the forest. Come at me, yules. Well, well, wait, 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 wait. You don't like being picked up. I won't do that anymore. But at the same time as I'm not doing that, she doesn't like to be called a bunny rabbit. Or, but he, right? She. Cody's she. Right. Okay. Yay! <laughs> Thank God. Um, She doesn't oh, like yeah. being okay. called a bunny see rabbit. Fucking is. She doesn't like being called Bunny Rabbit, but she can call other people whatever the fuck she wants. Well, um, you know, we might all practice being better individuals. Who the fuck are you? I, well, I'm. You wouldn't know me. Oh, uh, and she would barely know me. Uh, Mike wants to get something up. Yeah, yes. I, like, as she's like excitedly writing down in her book about having encountered a giant talking humanoid tree she's like i she says uh i tend to ag agree with the uh what was your name again sorry looks up to the no i haven't even been able to say it there's been a lot going on but my name is ben fliff why does that sound familiar because originally okay. though you may not have a hundred percent known it Ix used to go by Ix Banfliff because I was also a part of her. She's like, she says, um, I, and then it's like, uh, I guess I should continue with, um, it says it's continued with Banfliff. Nice to uh, meet you. My name is Grace. And I tend to agree with with you um inner squabbling really isn't gonna solve anything shut up thank Nibby. you grace it's very nice to meet you as well <clears throat> but at the same time i believe i was told while coming here to meet you there were things that needed to be done we're gonna go beat up a dog well then, good. Quit the bickering like children, and nobody ever, ever comment on that. But I do believe we should get to our work. I mean, you're saying no one ever comment on it, but I am indeed a child. She's a child, and I'm... Far too old, I know, my friend. Trust me. They told yeah, me about you. 
and everything. Although, I must say, I do enjoy what you originally stand for. Though that is not the person I am now, I could definitely go with being a giant fire-breathing dragon. Wasn't fire! Oh, well, that's not what they said. Well, maybe they're lying. You never know with gods these days. Yeah, but... well, they're all a bunch of fucking idiots. Um, Where are we headed again, my dear? I Pointing feel like to Cody. you joined us. You joined us, Yules, going and trying to be everyone's therapist, and now you're effing and jeffing and blinding. And That's because since and day fucking one, every goddamn person has shown me nothing but fucking disrespect! We have in reason case, to respect you! You tried to rob Santa! In any case, we should probably be, be uh, making tracks. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, no. Let's 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 make tracks. Let's make tracks while Cody proceeds to call everybody her bitch and treat everybody like they're fucking slaves. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Like they're slaves. This... I just treat them like they belong to me. I'm sorry. There's just extremely good layers to that joke, to that reference of you tried to rob Santa. <laughs> Too many layers. We're not gonna go over all of them right now. Perhaps we could all go forward with the philosophy of treat others as you would want to be treated. Does that work out for, 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 no. for everybody? That doesn't really... No, not really. No. I was a fucking dragon. Right. Oh, lovely. Regardless, let's go. She starts to, well, sort of walks a bit ahead, looks to see if the party's following. Cody just kind of smirks like, oh yeah, Grace, what are you going to do? Cast spells at him while he hacks you to pieces with his sword? You know what? I've had just about enough of this, and his voice really booms. I haven't even done anything. Never done anything. And he slams his hand on the ground and casts Fog Cloud in a, let's see, three, and it's ten per three? Yes, so 50-foot area. Nope. The moment you do that, I'm doing this. Oh, I'm in no. hell. Uh, so the moment so. Yul sees him slam his hand with Fog, Yul's is just going to cast a spell magic on it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it a good job that, you know, I'm going to let you have a long rest before you get to the so that you can get your spell slots back? <laughs> no. You want to know what? I'm done with this. Where are we heading, my dear Cody? This way! <laughs> Fuck you, you this way! Could you show me on the map, please? I have the map! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, graze in the background, it's just like... Why am We're I done. here? Congratulations, oh, Grace and Badly Cliff. You are now the parents of this group. We're going here. Here. All righty. Well, that's... Uh, Banfliff, yeah, okay. just from your height advantage and such, you would see the smoke billowing upwards from there. It's on fire, and the rebels were there. You said it would be about half a day to get, or the full day to get, like, uh, here-ish? Here-ish, I'd say. here -ish? Okay. Um, Especially given you, you've had a bit of a delay with this situation. So, more or less here-ish. <laughs> Got it. I think that we should all head off. I second that. Okay. And he's just going to start well, walking you guys off towards the billowing back there. smoke. Yules and Cody have already walking. headed off. Like I was walking all this time. It's just, I don't yeah. know. I don't. I'm. I'm not really too interested in following the old married couple. I mean, yes, I think we kind of have to this time, my dear. Yes. What was your name? Nasma. Yes, yes, I. I, I love her, but if you ever refer to us as that again, I think both of us will be shoving your arms so far up your feline ass that you'll be pulling out your kidneys till fucking Monday. And you've only got two arms, so don't piss off Aloe either. I'm not going to piss off Aloe? What? Aloe just looks up from the mirror that she's messing with. Yep. Wait, uh, have a mirror? Yeah, when's she gonna mirror? It was the mirror that X gave to her. Um, yeah, 
Inside okay. of it is a lovely dimension where it kind of contorts. And Ix has told Aloe a little bit about how to use it so that she like can go in and get out um, without the assistance of others. So she's just kind of, yeah, she's got knowledge. So I'll say you get to now. this point as you carry on. Before, I want you all to make me another perception. Yep, yep. No! Oh, I'm Thunder over on the 16th train. Ah. <laughs> um, one minute. Oh, not again. Not again, laptop. Come on. Don't do it. I was about to say, everyone's passing. Everyone's doing good. Cody. Cody never rolls well on perception, despite having a being proficient in it and having a plus four. I know. Um, I can't roll yet. Oh, That's okay. okay. We're also yeah. waiting on an in inferno. Oh yeah. There you go. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Yay. So, so everyone but me, Asma and Cody. You see a couple of things moving in the distance. To the left this time. The first, it just looks... At first you think maybe it's just loose ground or some large moss floating in a nearby river. Until you realize, no, these things have arms and legs. And various branches and bones sticking out of them. Abominations, maybe. Uh, Alo. Yeah. And mm. tricks them. Given you two was around at this point. Uh, so, wouldn't it be Aloe and Grace? Uh. Or no. 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 Okay. It's Aloe and tricks them. <laughs> you would recognize what these things are slightly. If only because you've kind of seen one of these before, albeit a changeling pretending to be one. These are shambling mounts. Shambling mounts. Uh, you'd recognize seeing one of them at the arena, where it was like the giant tree ground creature with the horse skull. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Man, that was back when Oni was a thing. Yep, that's yep. why I said Jules would have recognized that was, back, that was back when Miasma got a death curse on her. Yep, but um, you two didn't roll high enough to see it. You got a death? Alright. So. You pissed off Rowan, who's a witch. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh god, there evil, we go, this is going to go well. An go evil well. witch, to be exact. So, yeah, you see these two things just crawling through the forest. Uh, how far away are they? Uh, 15 foot away. I haven't um, noticed this yet, right? Uh, the only two that haven't noticed it are Cody and... Oh, you mean they haven't noticed you? Uh, they seem to have met you. No, not met you. They seem to have noticed you. But quite frankly, put, they don't care. They're just moving away from the fire. Yeah, so they're being, they're just vibing. I can deal with that. We don't have to mess with them. It's a case yeah, of well. they've got m more pressing issues than you. Hmm. All right. Seeing that they're not being hostile, Grace won't, you know, obviously Grace is just going to keep going. Okay. And as you keep on going, roughly here-ish is weird noise to get in more towards the night time. You feel this would be a good place to make camp for the night. If you okay. so wish to. You can push through if you want, or you can rest. I mean... I can imagine we've got quite a quite a stretch more to go, so resting would make sense, right? Uh, yeah, you'd feel so, given that a lot of you have been using your spells. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Um, yeah, I think a rest would be uh, ideal. Is there a, are the rest of you wanted to rest up as well? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Yes. Yes. Well. Okay. So, doors resting up for the night. You set up the camp. You make sure nothing's really going to come at you. Because if I recall right, Banfliff doesn't really sleep, they just meditate. Yeah, so he's just going to kind of wrap up in the rough, rough center of the campground, like campsite, and just kind of become a false tree so he can watch things while he rests, um, quote unquote. While okay. stay, whilst, we're, uh, whilst we're settling down to rest, uh, Grace will just look to Cody and just say, um, and, uh, and say, uh, I'm sorry about your, uh, uh, your, your, uh, 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 um, friend, um, I can, I can see, uh, I can see that they meant a lot to you. And I know what it's like to lose someone, uh, close to you, so I wanted to extend my you know. I'll need your pity. Why is there an eggplant here? Would it be if Cody is sensing like emotional stuff? Is that perception uh, for her? Uh, I'd say it'd be more... Oh, if Cody's trying to sense emotions. Well, no, if they're just kind of like around and she it's just passive. happens to... It it's would be passive. passive. Yes. Yeah, so okay. Just know. So I then, know. a part of you would feel having gotten the chance to like not be moving and stuff happening. A part of you still feels X. Um, I was sorry. I was, I was gonna say, uh, Grace would just end that by saying, um, by saying that, um, I'm not so much giving you my my pity more so my my uh sympathies before sort of like bow it before like nodding her head a little and then just giving Cody the space. What's the difference? Okay, so those of you who are around at the camp uh you would see Alos set down a mirror near Banfliss feet and just kind of vanish into it. Ben Fliff would wrap the mirror in like a root cage that would be big enough to fit Aloe when she returned um, so that she does not take any harm and nobody can just like grab the mirror like it's completely encased. Okay. Aloe's going to be traumatized by the, by the amount of just like no, naked only fan art and mixes during the <laughs> No, because whoever owns the mirror, it's actually becomes their mirror. The mirror is very loyal, and it just kind of like shifts whatever dimensions inside to the requirements that like Aloe needs. I'm sorry, I just imagine just Aloe popping into the mirror. Then not more than five seconds pass, Aloe pops back out, just grabs the mirror, smashes it. It's all like, never again, never again, never again. Yeah. <laughs> it's all over, guys. <laughs> Ah, so ice cream wizard body, but no. <laughs> yes. Dockies everywhere. <laughs> yes. But yeah, so around, he kind of protects the mirror. There are lots of docky river bones around. <laughs> <laughs> they demand your bread. <laughs> so I unleash the doki swarm on everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> just out of the mirror comes a bunch of doki. Banfliff just like opens the cage door and all the dokies come running out. <laughs> so the night passes. And I will quickly one more quick one because I like these. These are fun. I, I'm slowly becoming Jack, I've just realized. If I mm. can find a randomizing chart for something, I will roll on it. Okay, so that one requires me to roll on this chart. It's lovely, it's like 11. Okay, roll on the lower encounters chart. What is it? 
Oh, okay. I like that. So, are you setting up watches or are you all just going to get some rest while Banfliff watches? Um, I think um, Grace would probably take um, a mini sort of watch in, just in, in general regardless, but just a short one. Okay. To be honest, Cody, Cody would probably take a watch. She doesn't overly trust Banfliff yet. Okay. Anyone else taking a watch, Joy? Yeah, Yields is. Okay. Uh, and I'd be Everybody's probably... just up drinking I'd probably... coffee. <laughs> I probably just need one more person to do a watch then. If anyone well, I mean, I guess I'll take the rest of it. I'm already, well, I'm already assuming, doing it. I was assuming that normally like watches are two people doing it. I would assume that you'd be up for it all doing the watch. Oh, yeah. Therefore, everyone else they'd be like doing a couple of hours for each watch that thing. So they'd be doing... They would all be awake at the same time, but like Cody and Banflift and yours and Banflift and Grace and Banflift, that kind of thing. So if no one else will, then I suppose Uno will stay up for two hours. Mm -hmm. So who's taking first, who's taking second, who's taking third, and who's or fourth? I'll take second. Okay. Uh, Grace? Um, right, uh, I guess, um, was I like, like, like a sort of a third watch, maybe? Okay, uh, yeah. Yules? Yeah. Yules will go ahead and take first. Okay, so yeah. Uno will take fourth. Let me just see who's this with a few of them. Uh, I believe that was Cody second, wasn't it? Cody second, yeah. Yep. So, Cody and Bamfliff make me perceptions. Banfliff, <laughs> you're too deep in the meditation. Cody. You hear Watching a the of, mirror. You hear a couple of small voices. Hmm? What did they say? It's just like, come on, come on, the perfect patch is over here. Come on, come on, come on. And you see... What did they they're basically saying, come come on over here. There's a perfect patch over here. And just over the roots of the trees, you see, you see two small gnomes scurrying along. Gnomes? They don't seem to be dressed in, like, your usual attire type thing. Seems to be more makeshift stuff, like you'd expect someone lost in the wilderness to be wearing. Or you, you know, a druid type of clothing. You too. Stand um, very quiet. Stand very still and very quiet. I think we've been spotted. Let's ask out the plans uh, on movement. <laughs> Pretty much. Yule uh, standing with them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this role quite literally does say. 1d4 plus 1 forest gnome scouts and 1 druid. <laughs> <laughs> Yules is just the druid standing behind them, just like... Frozen. A little quiet. <laughs> it bites the mirrors so don't move. Uh, I can see you two. Three. Yules? Oh, hell! <laughs> Why are you up? Uh, I heard movement. Either way. Oh, you almost know. because maybe a god was making a joke or something. Come here. They just slowly turn to you. If it's all fine with you, we'd kind of like to stay over here. Why? Why? Do it! Oh! Oh! Like, um, like point to the campfire. We're not a fan of fire. Oh! Fire burns away the wilderness. No, yeah, yeah, but it, it, it gives way for new things. Yes, but uh, it takes a while for those new things to grow in. And before then, we don't have the shelter or, you know, the cover. It doesn't Man, really matter. Your, Look, your, your perception of time is very low. Look, what are you guys doing down here? Gavin Where shrimps. are you from? Oh. We're Gavin Shrimps. Where are you we're from here. Where are you from? Here. 
How long did you guys live down here? Uh, all my lives. For over 300 years? Yes. Okay. Little bubbles. I'm happy now about that, babies. I mean, Tell me you are. Now, where are those mushrooms? So, um, you remember the time before? Um, when people come in and it was the Citadel? No. Then you haven't been here. How old are you? I'm like uh, 150. He's like 130. So, then you you haven't been here for 300 years. No, but we've been here all our lives. Then why did you lie to us? We didn't. We just said we've been here all our lives. And no, she asked you if that was 300 years, and then you said yes. Oh, we thought you meant, is that how long we live? No. Well, I know that gnomes live for over 300 years, roundabouts. Hmm. We haven't but... lived that long. Um, so you've never known anything different than down here? They just kind of look to each other, then look to you and shrug. I don't know, memory's kind of hazy. Damn, you're just like those rats. Or the cult that worshipped the rat. It's more a case of... And then they just kind of blank-eyed stare at you. And then look to each okay. other. So we gotta get to the mushroom patch. No, hold on, hold on. What? I'm not done with you. Look. Can I wait until we you get know there's... Oh. You know there's an entire world up there, right? We just kind of look at which... Yeah. There's a lot of mushrooms. After. What? Wouldn't you rather live above ground? No. Why? We're afraid of heights. <laughs> you always don't laugh at them. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. I, I apologize. It's just it. it, it the uh, the irony of the situation because fact of the matter is we're on top like despite the fact that we're beneath the mountain there are things beneath us there are caverns and caves and entire realities that are below us <laughs> so just sorry the imagery I apologize I don't mean yes but the, di <laughs> but the difference there is they're not on top of a tree the tree is very tall then what? don't on top of a tree. But you said you, well, you want to live up there. Up there is at the top of the trees. Oh my no, god. No. Look, there's above the outside of the mountain. Besides, no mushrooms grow up there. Yeah, they do. Buck tons of mushrooms grow up there. there what, do you think, I, what do you think species? I get my mushrooms? Probably lots of different species you've never even tried. They just kind of look to each other. And then look to you a lot again. And then look to each other again. It's like, is this even happening? Yes, it is happening. Uh, look, um, what are your names? They kind of just like raise their fingers to try not to. And then go blank eyed again. I'm going to name them well, Google Google. Flugel and Lurgel. Cool. Uh, where do you come from? Here. Like right this spot right here? Oh, oh. You mean right past away from here? Uh, yeah. Uh, if you go yeah. blank eyed, by the way, you're going to get your eyes put back. Do you have like a map or something? Yep. I'll pull out yeah. the map. Because yep. I'm, I'm the one carrying the map with the cartographer's tools. Yep. He will wander over to the map, and he's going to roll something. It's just Waffleberg land. 
he's got to roll something with disadvantage. He just kind of goes blank eyed and then scribbles something on the map. Display that here? Hang on. I haven't put anything down yet. Yeah. Where is he? I'm pinging it on the map. Now, is that their home? That's the that's where the shrooms are. But is that your home? Oh shit! Yes, that's what I was meant to be doing. <laughs> are you okay? I think they're high on shrooms. Okay, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna do you a bit of favor, um, Mister Flugel. Um, Yules is going to telekinetically look into the dude's minds. And as you look into the mind, you're always just hit with psychedelic colors. Yep. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's like the fucking Mykonids again. Uh, <clears throat> hold on. One of them will just be like, the other one will wonder if it's a map. They want to know where we live. Uh, our village is... Here. Oh my god, that's so far away. How'd you guys get here with such small stubby legs? How did we get here? <laughs> that's, that's the question. How'd you guys get here? I don't know. What's, I don't know. What's the answer? It's been a, it's been a really, it's been a really depressing like last three days. So I'm laughing at whatever I fucking can. One of but... them, one of them will pluck the mushroom, one of the mushrooms, off a of banflit and just like munching on it. It's, That's... it's very strong. That's There's a not... reason these grow at Banflit's feet. <laughs> That's, that you. Ugh. Oh. You excuse me, excuse me a second, as You're I just. just gonna... <sighs> You're just going to see the little gnome, his eyes just... Quite literally, the gnome's eyes... And then eyes he just, just falls seem... over. Yeah, the gnome's eyes just seem to lose all color. It just becomes all black. black. eyes is just the not... pupils just no. widen up. And then you just see him pop out of existence. You, you, I, was about, I was about to say, you do know people can OD on mushrooms, but... <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, that's disgusting. Don't don't do what your friend did. Huh? Yeah, really don't. You know what? You got family, Mister Flugel, or are you Lugel? Google, Google, Bugle, Bugle. That's the word. It uh, just starts to count on his fingers. Now. Cool, you're mine now. You're just gonna pick him up and hold him. You can't just claim random forest gnomes. Is that you do? He'll just look. You claim random forest things. He'll just That's look to you nice. as you pick him up, and he will get a bit of fire in his hand and be like, "Put me down, and I'll burn you and everything around here." I like oh, your style. Like I like your style, <laughs> but I I should tell you. You won't burn me, motherfucker. You'll just do it. Actually, I'm not gonna start this thing. But uh, you want, you want, you want, uh, you want the good shit, like the good shit, not some of that like four, like that fucking like forest plucked fucking shrooms. You like the good shit. He will look to the fire in his hand, and then just eat it. Mm. That's not okay. No! Not so! Bad Bugle! No! He's just like like a baby. He's just trying to burp Bugle because the body. He's like, no! Starts doing the Heimlich. Uh, you burping? And the butterfly comes out of his mouth. What the fuck is wrong with you, Bugle? You don't go eating fire butterflies. Why did his friend pop out of existence is my question. I kind of stopped uh, doing you shit about that one. An icon, huh? I would like to know why, because the mushrooms should not do that. You can make me an arcana. 
Uh, he quite literally got so high he cast teleport. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I assumed that. Okay, because I was like, oh, he'll, what? He'll just puts puts bugle down, pats him on the head. Actually, gnomes are taller than kobolds. I just thought about that. So, like, Yule reaches up to these pat him ones, on the head. No, these ones are actually smaller. Oh, they're like little garden gnome fey creatures. Pretty much. Oh, shit. Ha, don't let me ask my them. Don't let me ask my silly bugle. A bush yeah, just comes it's... up around bugle. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> don't oh, let dear. him see bugle. Oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, just uh, hold on. Yules is just gonna is just gonna hide Yules is just gonna hide Bugle in a fucking bush. Bugle! Hey. Uh do you know where your friend went? To the shrimps, probably. That's why I should be going. Why do you have to go to the shrooms? Hungry. Is there are other things to eat than just shrooms. Like, I don't eat, but there, there's Ooh. better things to eat. This is a very colorful way to do this. Yes, there's other things to eat, but if I don't eat the shrooms, I get the twitches. If I get the twitches, I get the sweats. They're literally a society of drug-addicted gnomes. Pretty much. <laughs> I don't know how... Okay, hold on. Um, Yield is gonna hand him to Bamflip and pull Cody aside. Okay. Um, I don't know how to handle this, but I feel like he has a problem. He's gonna reach. Yeah, he does have mushrooms. Bamflip is stop, stop him. him. That. <laughs> just wraps him up in should... roots and just holds him. <laughs> should we like? Should we help him? Like, look, if his entire village is hooked on these things, what I'll... can we do? I'm not. I mean, look, 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 this one time, one of the groups that came to try to kill me had a wizard, and, and the wizard was, like, really coked up on some sort of, like, magical fucking, like, potion drug shit, and the, the wizard was, like, it was so bad, it was fucking bad that they went paranoid, and so, like, during the fight, he actually casted, like, he, he went to go and cast just a simple spell, but instead he ended up blowing himself up, and, like, it, the cleric as well, and it, it, it wasn't pretty, it wasn't pretty, um... So like, I feel like they're dangerous to themselves. Like like, should we maybe like tie them up to a tree and uh, <laughs> look like, over? Cold, like like cold turkey. I'm sorry. I'm just imagining I... now that we're pretty much established this little colony of drug fueled gnomes, and that look. I imagine it's like a mix. The village. It's like a mixture of the Smurfs and the uh, <laughs> landscape thing from Hell of a Boss and such. It's just like. The seedier side of Smurf Town. <laughs> Look, Waffleberg. Sorry, what? Who? Sorry, um... what? Why? Why am I here all of a sudden? What the fuck? Where'd this bird come from? Oh. Why is he carrying a bird? Look, He's yes. looking for the mushrooms. <laughs> Waffleberg's <laughs> looking for the mushrooms. <laughs> La. La. Yeah. How do you suggest we cure an entire village of addicted gnomes? Tie them all up to the trees and cold turkey. I think the best thing we can do is deal with these cult, these like people, and then come back and help them after. Okay. I guess. So should I let him go? I mean, sure. Yeah, just. Look, Bugle. He was just gonna put his hands on Bugle's shoulder. Look, they ain't good for you, buddy. You gotta let it go. Uh, you gotta, said... you gotta be, you gotta be in charge of your own destiny, your own power, your own wisdom. You fucking teleported away, didn't you? No, he's still there. Oh, okay. You're talking to uh, him. Is he just nodding? I think I, I think I understand. I gotta take. Charge of me on destiny. Gotta try and get cold turkey. Gotta, yeah, yeah. Gotta, uh. all he, but all uh, you go on all this time. He's slowly raising the mushroom to his mouth. You're just That's going to grab hungry. the mushroom. <laughs> no, look, okay, look, look, buddy, buddy. 
I'm going to send you on your way. But if I see you or any of your friends with any fucking mushrooms again, I'm going to find this patch and I'm going to burn it to the ground. Do you understand? How'd you... Why if someone else has the mushrooms? Are they a buddy of yours? Ah, no, that's up to you to decide. Then yes. Then what happens? Then it burns. Then yes. So it's going to burn then since you're holding the mushroom. That's actually quite. That's fun. actually a good. That's actually a good point. Yeah, where's this mushroom patch? Man, I, know, I, I need something to try and remember it. He'll leap up We've, and bite no, the mushroom. He'll... We know where the mushroom patch. Well, he's 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 actually tied to Banfliff right now, oh, hands and arms and everything. Yeah, so he you, can't you, really you, hop. You, you know what? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna we, put we, the mushroom we, down. Uh... We don't have we don't have time for it. We don't have time for it. But we'll be back. We'll be back to your village after we save the day from an evil god destroying monster who I'm not entirely sure if I really want to kill because fact of the matter is the gods are a pain in my ass. But to be honest, if she can be sweet, well, the dog probably can't. He's a corrupted beast, but the the lady who's got the title of God Slayer, we could probably sway her. I mean, yeah. Probably. Seem, she's probably like in the same boat as Schmitty. She doesn't know what she's doing's wrong. I mean, look at us. We're a couple of fuckers that got tricked by gods. I tend to do that a didn't lot. Didn't get tricked. I was just doing what my. Oh, you got me. yours is worse. Yeah, yours is worse. You didn't have a choice. So before. Banfliff lets the little gnome go. Mm -hmm. One of the branches like turns into his hand and he touches the ground next to the gnome and casts good berry and a small bush of like raspberries like just appears next to him. You should probably eat these for a little while. It might help you with your addiction. You look to the raspberries. Did you let him go? You pluck a couple. They're like, yeah, I'll save the rest. You probably need some breakfast. You never know. Wow, you just you you just did the equivalent of getting somebody off of fucking pot by putting them onto pain pills. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Change one addiction for another. Good job. <laughs> Pretty much. I'm sorry, but at least it's not mushrooms. This poor little guy can probably only take so much. The fact that he's 150 yeah. years old is a miracle, Austin. It's a miracle. <laughs> All right. You go on your way, Mr. Bugle, and you tell Fugle that wait, why are these ca why are these banana split names? <laughs> Damn. These are the name of banana split characters. Um yeah. but, but um yeah, have fun and he'll take <laughs> he'll take the raspberries, he'll head off to where he marked the village on the map. And you'll just hear as he does. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and with that, you all go back to doing your watches. And morning breaks. Everyone get your spell slots back and any health that you're missing. Yes, well. Very spring in his step, Banfliff, like, unwinds himself. Oh, beautiful day. Yes, me, you can't help but feel like there's a little bit of whiff of the fair wilds around here. Do we have this now? No, she's muted. <laughs> Inferno's muted. <laughs> so, you're all just heading downwards? Uh, as your first call, make me perceptions, everyone. That's a lot of work. Not to make it. <laughs> it's a lot of work to look, see. <clears throat> it's a beautiful day. He's well rested. Uh, the smoke seems to be subsiding somewhat for those that got over a 10. 
doesn't really seem to be going on too much, which makes you think the fires may have stopped, but there's probably still danger there. This is going to sound very awkward. So, very happily, well, let's go see if there are any survivors. And he just kind of heads off towards the fire. Okay. Rock, I like, swear, I swear, if you use summon elemental spirit to summon a fucking rock elemental called Daisy, I'm going to break you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to break you. I actually did not put that spell in here because I was like, you want to know what? Let's not go to. I do have conjure animals, though. So I can conjure the jungle <laughs> monsters. I can jump conjure Brambleback. No, no, no. It's, it's just a mixture of spells, summon elemental, and catapult. <laughs> Wee. Okay. Get him, Daisy. This is why Waffleberg managed to sneak in. It's because I've heard somehow in here. <laughs> Waffleberg just followed him through. Oh, who was that? So, it was me. As you're all heading that way. He doesn't walk like Ivern, though. He just kind of has a long stride as he just, like, very slowly walks towards things. You will all see as you make your way through. The trees start to get a bit thinner the closer you get. A bit more spread out rather than just in giant clumps. And then you will see the fortress. Not the fortress, the fort. And you will definitely hear the clash of battle from within. Mm. The kidnappers are in trouble. Well. Wait, kidnappers? kidnappers? <laughs> yeah, they kidnapped. Does nobody but me and Carly remember any of the negative shit that happens? I wasn't I mean, with you. I wasn't here, friend. You, you were. You were literally there. Like, we were running to find you. And X, and then, uh, fuck, I don't know what you worked <laughs> by you. I thought you meant Aloe, but no, you meant Rana. <laughs> and I just remembered, yeah, Rana wasn't there for that part. I'm sorry, Rana. So, but, uh, thank you, Yules. <laughs> uh, you'll see. There's like a little river area running up to it. And you feel like there are two pathways. You could try and go around to the left where the main nope. gate would be, or mm -mm. to the right where the back door would be. No, I'm just making a bridge of roots over the tiny little river and just kind of like boop. Okay, uh, which the other side. Are you heading? Um. Okay, Cody is Cody. Yep. She's probably just going right in the front door. Okay. So, Cody, front door. Yules uh, is Yules, so he's also probably going through the front door. <laughs> yep, Cody and Yules front door. Banfliff across the river. Yeah. Uh, Wait, the river is between us and the fort, correct? Uh, there's, like, ways to get around on pathways to, like, the front door or the back door. It's just that there is, like, a little river fish lake type thing. Okay, well, he's just pretty much crossing that and then heading to the front door. <laughs> like, okay. But he's just making it easier for him to get across now rather than later. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Aloe? Do we have a runner? I suppose I'll follow Cody. Okay. Uh, who else are we missing? Uh, Grace. Front door, back door, or following across the river? Michael? Hello? Hello? Did Michael? We gotta restart our grace. Oh, oh there's sound. Uh, yeah, I see the flashing up on thingy, but I don't know if it's coming through or not. Do the thing crash out? Uh, while we wait for them. Uh, Tricks them. Front, back, or across the river. He's probably going to go with the majority of people. Okay. I'm assuming that, aside from Banfleet, people will be trying to go front door. Then. 
Cody doesn't really care. Yeah. She's just the type to charge in. So, as I drag you all over to this map. Yay! Let me carve! Uh, uh, the front door would be roughly here, to the left of the map. So, <laughs> doors arriving by the front door, put yourselves there. Everyone out, uh, Banfleth. Where? Put yourself up here, to the north, in the river. In the you're, river? Yes, because oh, you'll be arriving <laughs> towards this dock, with, to the point where you can get through this door here. This little hidden door. Okay. Well, let's see. I, it won't let me drag myself. <laughs> it hates me. It won't let me either. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. yeah. Oh! Oh! Oh, they changed it, Rana. If you hover over your bio, there's a little arrows in the corner. If you click on that and drag it, it they changed it. E. That's super cool now, though. So, let's see. Who else needs to be dragged on? Jump. Uh, I'll drag. Right. Grace. You go, Allo. Una. Thank you. I literally really could not see supposedly supposed to be there. Turlick is there. <laughs> Miasma. Uh, do you want me to pop you on the map as well, Theon? Uh, yeah, please. Okay. Towards the front, as usual. I would like to state that despite I have me not using Roll20 for rolling for a long time, I still have macros from like when I was playing as Oni. <laughs> so. Uh... <clears throat> Let me just work this out quickly before I finish this. Uh, first things first. Banfleth, make me a perception. Well, actually, everyone make me a perception. Holding my bridge. Okay. Uh, this will be for different stuff. Okay. Okay. So, boop. Never! Hello, what do your cobalt as? Uh... I see everything. <laughs> Bamfleth? Yes? You do make out the little hidden side door there that you'll be able to get through. Oh, So you won't have goody. to get through to the main door. <clears throat> Does that approach the main door? Uh, aside from Cody. You do see what seems to be some of the abomination creatures running, apart, running along on the ramparts. Some of the ballistas, which seem to be broken down at this point. Mm -hmm. And who wrote the highest? Uh, Me! <laughs> well, at the front door, I mean. Oh, oh wait, Rana! No, it, it would be Yules and Allo at the front door. Yeah, in that case, Yules and Allo. On this wall here in particular, you see what seems to be an unusual shape in the wall. In the bricks of the wall. Like... Carved into it or like wrecked into it? More like sticking out. Like... So, like, fused with it somehow? Pretty much. Seems to be in the uh, outline of the front of a knob. Oh. Why oh, is no, there this is where he. This is where he talked uh, We're not going to talk about We're not going to talk about this. <laughs> it's too depressing. Why? Uh, yeah? not, no. No, we're not talking about it. Ignore it. Don't tell Ignore it. Flip, whatever you do. Just please. Confused aloe face. This, 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 is, this is the dangers of teleportation. If you're, if you're super high on drugs and don't know where you're going. Just no, yep, not talking about this anymore. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, I'm going to need everyone <laughs> to roll me an initiative. Yes, on that coming. Um. Oh my uh, God! You live. Like uh, how would? Uh, so what the seventeen for yours? Uh, someone already got added to there. Cody got added to there. 
Uh, Try to leave your review. What, sorry? Come on, really. You okay, I'm what? trying to roll that. I'm trying to roll the thing, but it's. Oh, I've got 20. Lagging. Oof. It oofs. Uh, I got the six. Yep. And turn. Bamflip got six. Uh, who was I missed? Grace. Which it's lagging, so I'm having yeah. trouble rolling. I've missed Una as well, oh, and I've missed Inferno. Grace got By the way, Austin, they are psychedelic mushrooms that grow at Banfliff's feet, and it's not Banfliff growing them. I will say that, but mm -hmm. there's a very good reason that they grow at his feet when he sleeps. Una? Got herself a twenty-four. Nice. What exactly um <laughs> happened in between talking to the gnomes? Uh, uh we just we just, uh, we just came here. Yeah. Okay. Uh is Inferno still AFK. I think so. I'll have to roll for me as mother. I actually sort of really archive Crinlock sheets at this point. I keep going and see Crinlock and be like, oh yeah, I've got Crinlock. Oh wait. Oh wow. Okay. Uh... Alright, Lay, you're no longer allowed to roll for anybody except for me. No. <laughs> I love the fact that the NPC and the one person who is AFK at the moment got the Nat 20s. Everybody else <laughs> failed. Which means that Uno is going to step back and just be like, Okay, we're in your command. What should, what should we do? Attack! She's Play gonna jump up. rope. She's going to run up. Oh no, sorry, gonna... attack! She's going to run up and she's going to try and barge open the doors. <laughs> but she actually does so. <laughs> Uno has opened up the doors for you. Uh, I'll have to look on Miasma sheets to see what Miasma has. Given Inferno is AFK, I'm assuming. And not just muted and forgotten. Uh, put Inferno in the AFK dungeon. Naughty, naughty. We don't have an AFK dungeon in here because the other one doesn't work. <laughs> the other one throws people in when they're not AFK. Yee. Get that back up to that. Okay, she has that. And given I don't feel confident in spending her high level spells while she's AFK, she's just going to do a magic missile on Mr. A Bomb up here. Uh, so a 7 solid damage. Uh, next up would be... Allo! Yay! It's an Allo's turn. Okay. The doors are open now? Yes. Uh... Probably make it about the edge. So, we're going to be moving right there. Uh, is this guy on the ground? Uh, yes, he is. Okay. I'm going to... What do I want to do? I'll say that you are underneath this structure at the moment as well. Like, the entrance is underneath that structure. Uh... Can I go ahead and just cast this right here? Uh, Spirit Guardians. They fly around you oh. to a distance 15 foot of the duration. Uh, yes, you can. Okay. So, okay. Let's go 
must make a wisdom saving throw or take damage. Okay. So basically, thank you for that. And... And at level designate... three. Yep. You can designate <laughs> any number of creatures you can see to be unaffected by it. Unfortunately, since you enter it down below, the only people that you would be able to see are your own party. Aside from Banfliff. Well, yeah. As well as this guy and this guy. Yep. Everyone else around the ramparts with the walls being a bit too high to see. Okay. And is that your turn? Uh, yep, because I've moved and I've made an action. Okay. Uh, there's a little bit of things going on in this house over here that I got to resolve. Bob uses poke. <laughs> okay, that hits for nine damage. Uh, Yules, it is your turn. Alrighty. So, the doors are open, right? Uh, yes, they are. Also, I just then... realized these guys should have been on this layer. Whoops. Because I know what I'm doing. Um, so, first off, uh, we are going to go ahead and extend one of my wild shapes to summon the wildfire spirit. Um, it will summon essentially a small fire elemental in the form of essentially like a hydra. Yep. Um, kind of like right here in this general. Okay. Uh... See if I've got like a little icon or something for that that I can use for it. Slap a dragon in there, we'll be fine. <laughs> a small little fire hydra, you said. Roughly a. Yeah. This area? Uh, right here. Okay. Why did that not get summoned onto the map? Am I on the right? Okay. Okay, I may need to refresh the page because they may have ended up with three of them on the map. Yeah, it's 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 having it. I I don't see any of them. Yeah, I think Roll Twenty's having issues. God damn it, Roll Twenty. Roll Twenty's having a seizure. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. We're just loading back in. Okay. Now that I'm back in, it did not drag any of those onto the map, so let me try that again. Hiya. <laughs> Hiya. Still nothing. What is going on here? Okay, free assets. Free assets it is. Let's go. Dungeon Master's Essentials. Is there a Hydra in that? I mean, just... You, you could do <laughs> literally anything. It doesn't matter. That is true. Draw a circle. Boop. <laughs> uh, uh, but upon upon him being summoned, I need the Abomination to roll a Dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Yay. Yay. Abomination needs to make a deck save. Plus one. Nine. Nine, he does not succeed. Hold on. Also, while I'm at it, let me just edit this so it's controlled by you as well. If in case it moves. Yeah, it is controlled by me. He also goes after I go. Yeah. 
You chose one of the little elephant dudes. <laughs> so that is uh, that is seven points of damage to that dude. Yep. Um, but I'm not done yet because that's just a class feature uh, action. Um, by him, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to cast. Let's see if I can get it here real fast. Uh, out of curiosity, the damage from that is just from it being summoned, isn't it? Yeah, it's just from it being summoned. And what radius is that? Uh, it is 10 foot, so they do. So if the, that dude's alive, isn't he? So yeah, yeah. he needs to make the deck saving throw as well. That's I didn't realize he was alive, I do apologize. That is fine. Uh, his is the same, it's just a plus one. Uh, no, he fails, he's taking seven damage too. It will also be yeah. It will also be seven damage. Yep. Um. Oh, oopsies! Oh well. That's what happens. But uh, so and above you. <laughs> that is fair. But um, also with that, over right by my buddy, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to summon Jeremiah. Scroll to see it really is. did just put the whole fucking spell. It's the stone elemental. Okay. So I need to create one of those as well on here. Yep. Uh, Make him another elephant. Whereabouts is he being summoned? Uh he he'll be just right he he'll he'll be just right by Fredrickson, the fire elemental. Uh in front or to the side? Uh in front. Or oh, sorry, no, to the side. Uh, other side. Galio. Uh, the other side is blocked by the stairs. Well, oh, okay. We okay. I didn't realize that it was. Uh, I thought that was above us. I didn't realize that we were on it. Uh, no, the wooden platform is above you, but these stairs are heading downwards through that ground floor. So, if he was here, he'd be blocked. Cool. The stairs. Smashed okay. into him. I see now. Um, then that's that is a okay. So, uh, therefore, that's the end of Yolz's turn, but it is Fredrickson's turn. Fredrickson yeah. is going to use, there we go. Uh, he is going to use, I can't really say it, but um, he is going to go ahead and activate fire teleportation, and he and is Andy. going to. How far away is this? Let me see if there's something here that designates like below. I'm going to say for those that are underneath the thing, I'm going to give you the, like the little tower icon until you move out from there, just so that you know mm -hmm. you're underneath the wooden thing. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. So Fredrickson, the fire elemental, is going to teleport to this dude over here. Um, and he is going uh, to. Which dude? Sorry, can you ping it? This one. Zoom out. Okay, so downwards to that guy. Yeah, it's going to be about right here. <laughs> yep. Um, and the teleport itself is an attack, so he is going to it is going to be. That should roll. Okay, why well, I don't know why that's not <laughs> rolling. I do apologize. Um, I do believe maybe it a lot of it is roll twenty is just. Yeah, roll, roll 20 is having an issue. Um, okay, that is going to also be seven points of damage. Okay. Just to him? Uh, yes, just to him. Yeah, the dude's not within range. Okay. And so that is, yeah, so that is the end of Fredrickson's turn. Um... And so it is now Jeremiah's turn. Yep. And Jeremiah is going to go ahead and use his multi-attack, which is just two slams. Okay. I'm assuming um, so he's going, going to here. be moving up in close combat with it. Yeah, he is. There we go. I apologize. It's okay. It's just for Issa's sake. I'll put him to that square yeah, so directly and leave. He's got to make both those. Uh oh, he makes the attack. Okay. Yeah, it's it's just a normal attack. It's a it's a slam attack. Uh, 
There we go. Um, does a yeah? Don't pay attention to that roll. There were two d twenties in that deck. Um, one of them was an eight. One of them was a six. Uh, does a thirteen or fourteen? Him? Uh, no. No. Okay. Cool. Then he misses, and that is the end of his turn. Okay. To Lickstum. Yes. Your turn. The doors are open, but from the outside, you can see this boy over here, which is the same one Miasma just fired up. Oh, well, I guess I'll fire at them, too. Okay. Make uh, make your attack then. Well, first of all, which one are you casting? Magic missile, if that was right. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah, three D four plus three for the basic level one. Yeah. There we go. Yep. Big go pinging off him. Uh. You're moving or staying put? I'm assuming that was staying put. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I That's think okay. I must have let go of it. Uh, next up would be... Cody. More, more battles. Oh, Grace. On. Sorry. Actually, before those, mm -hmm. a little stuff happening off the scene. Plus four to hit. Times two. Uh, miss and hit for uh, 1d8 plus two. Nine damage. That is some tasty damage. Why or why did I decide to get into a hobby that involves a lot of math? <laughs> <laughs> My, you wanted also one's weakness, math. <laughs> uh, Chris, your turn. Yeah. Um. Right. So um. I do apologize, but I need to get filled in. I accidentally dozed off in between. When the gnomes were being talked to and when we got here? Uh, um, not too much happened between then. You basically just headed down. This is the fort where you were trying to get to. Uh, and it's still under attack. The doors are now open. Oh, this was where the smoke was coming from, right? Yeah. E. Okay, the fires cool. have stopped. All right. So the doors are open. These doors here are open? Yeah. Una opened them. Cool. Um... One minute. Yeah. What'd we lose? Uh, I don't know who we lost. Oh, we lost Santa. Santa accidentally clicked into the Discord. Wasn't an act. Okay. I just. Um... Hmm. I guess the best you can do is. Um... Does it look safe to step on through? Uh, Elo steps on through, and you haven't heard Elo scream out in pain yet, so. Good sign. Uh, Elo's not been murdered. Yet. I mean, if you look really closely at the doorway, you can probably <clears throat> see some form of fey like creature that she's summoned. Yeah. A small swarm of it. I'm guessing she's in a good few with her. Traveling companions go inside, right? Oddly enough, only Alo has so far. Yules has summoned stuff in there. Everyone else has just yeah. been pinging them from the pinging one from the outside with spells. Okay, I thought. I right. mean, we all we all know Cody's going to run in head first. That is absolutely true. 
the only other thing to note as well is Banfleth didn't go with you to the front door. Instead, they decided to go across the small river by creating a bridge of vines. <laughs> so, like, reached the roots out the forest. We're like, oh, you need to get over there? And I was like, why, yes, I do. And so they just made a bridge. <laughs> Would it be if she went by the, the door here and peeked around for uh, to fire any spells would be anyone in anything in range uh um, this one yeah. here would be in range as oh, well okay. as let me just check uh yeah technically him as well the one, right the one near the little elephant looking thing and the one right near allo yeah. this one's in range yes <laughs> right Any well, it's in range depending on what spells you're planning on using <laughs> oh, yeah, oh sorry yeah um okay Um, right, okay. Um, I guess I'll just, um, I guess you'll just fire off a magic missile. Okay. Just to sort of like, I don't know, test the waters, get his attention some more, what, yeah. what, what have you. That's fine. Also, I love the fact that I sent a dangerous president though, where it's like, Oh, you know, I don't want to use too much with Miasma, so I'll just use Magic Missile. Tricks of Stone, Magic Missile. <laughs> it's his turn. <laughs> I mean, it's a very good spell, don't get me wrong. It's guaranteed damage, but it's a good way to test the waters. Right. <laughs> so, um, uh, what level so are you just... casting it at? Yes, yeah, so but um, when you cast this level using third, third level higher, sorry, second or higher, Creates an extra slot, so I guess um, third level. Five d four plus five. Yeah. Does that sounds yeah. Yep. So okay. five. I'm sorry, I'm really bad with keyboards. I hope it's, it's okay. Uh, Don't worry. D four plus five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five plus five is eighteen. Yep. So, yeah, that did quite a lot of good damage, though. You see, you see, Grace just gets at door, just peek around, fire off several rounds of magic missiles that just collide into this thing's form. It is definitely looking over towards Alo now. I'm not magic missile. Don't look at me. <laughs> Maybe because it can't see Grace from where it is. So what 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 you're telling me is they're looking away from the fire hydra and the giant sand and stone dude, and they're looking at the tiny cobalt. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the tiny the cobalt. Enough. Maybe because the fire thing moved away from it, the golem missed, <laughs> and yet so got fair. hit in the head from where Alo's direction is. Uh, it would now be a Quick, Cody. Fairies, blind it. <laughs> Cody. It looks over. It looks over. Alo growls. Tiny little rabbit thing runs in. Oh, that's not a threat. Oh no, it's a threat. It's a threat. It's a threat. <laughs> it's a hammer. <laughs> yeah, I had the same problem. I was like, how close can I get? <laughs> That hurts me. I can't move any further. And I can't hit him unless I'm in combat. Range, okay. So. Uh, bad Whoops, I just it? Set her down. Sorry. It's okay. Yeah. Wait, did I do that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'd be like right in the doorway. <laughs> okay. But right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, oh, don't touch me, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do so to give you an icon, because if you're in the doorway, that means that you'll get one of those. God so picks me up, doorway. just like Yules. Put me down, or I burn this entire forest to the ground. You don't even know any fire spells. Watch me. I will forest this entire <laughs> fire into the ground. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it, is, um, it is abomination time. Alrighty. Well, wait, 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 wait. There's things I can do. Oh, right, yes, sorry. 
Yeah. Okay, wait, actually, if I cast it from there. <laughs> Not doing that. <laughs> Please don't AOE me to death. <laughs> Please don't AOE me. We remember what happened to Miasma. <laughs> well, it actually wouldn't AOE you to death, but it would it would be an AOE that would be fairly um yeah. Just remember, any devilage that would happen to me would instead happen to you. If it's a spell, that is. Okay, so straight line. 60 feet. And 10 feet wide. So, this entire block of area is being absolutely, and I'm sorry, yours. Where did, what? Where did my, oh, there's my character sheet. I was like, where did my character sheet go? Yeah. Um, is being absolutely blasted. Okay, so this isn't something that stays up, is it? No. Okay. No, this, um, so if they fail the saving throw, um, which is a DC of 17, uh, they will be Fired back 15 feet, so he'd be here. Okay, so and said, but know. this guy right here is not not involved because it kind of just like goes around him. So the abomination fails and he's being blown back. Uh, yours? Can you make one for your uh, hydra? Uh, he doesn't really need it. Okay. He's immune to uh, he's immune to grapple prone, restrained, and push. Oh, oh, well, that's good. Yep. So it's just the abomination that's getting flung back Fifth, uh, fifteen feet away. E, uh, so fifteen here. Feet here, a little bit further because here's fifteen. Oh wait, no, no, you're right. Never mind. <laughs> I was uh, like, wait a minute. How much damage is he taking? Uh, da, 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 I don't think they take any damage. That is true, yeah, it doesn't say so. Uh, it extinguishes candles, torches, and similar unprotected uh. flames in the area. Okay, yeah, and then... Uh, would your fire Where's hydra this? count as an unprotected flame? And has a fifty percent chance of exting has a fifty percent chance of extinguishing them as a yeah, bonus action on your on each of your turns before the spell ends, you can change the direction of the wind and the line that blasts out. Oh, I'm not even gonna worry about that. To be fair, he is not a fire, he is an elemental. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, um, it, it, you can't extinguish elementals. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, you can so... extinguish the fires they make, but not I will, themselves. I will say this, though, given how this map is laid out. Uh, Racker, odds or evens? Odds. Damn! The cart blows, but doesn't blow over. You don't throw the cart after it either. Well, if it did, it would only move uh, the same 15 feet, so it would be... It'd here. Block up, it'd try and block off the stairs. <laughs> so you just see the tree come out, Aloe. Whisk a hand. <laughs> now it is abomination's turns. And these things get to make two attacks. Uh, given that the one is fighting with a golem, it will go for the golem first. Actually, no, it's going to split its attacks up. Actually, no, I'll make that decision once I've made the first attack. <laughs> Plus four to hit. Oh, Mr. Golem, 22 on Golem. Yeah, that hits. Okay, and that is... Seven damage. Seven damage. Cool. It's making its second attack on the Golem. These things have a thing. If they hit with their first attack, they get advantage on their second. 
if it's on the same target. Uh, 13. That misses. Okay, so that's that one's turn done. <laughs> I'm sorry, here. but that was great. They hit with advantage rolls. Never okay. mind. <laughs> uh, 17 will absolutely hit. And... Who died? This guy up here on the ballista died. I believe he is the person that music for the tracker for these guys though, so I'm just going to move guy? into the ocean. Uh, up here, this guy. Oh. I'm just going to move him into the ocean because he is actually the tone tracker for these dudes. So he needs to remain alive. Uh, to the guy, ocean! This guy got pushed, so instead he's just going to move here. To give them a bit of advantage. So that's a nat 20. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Destroyed. Also did. Which means that he moved down and tried to do that when this thing didn't need to. So this goes to go over and try and break down the door. And does so. So that door is now broken down. Who else is here? This guy's here but getting kind of tag teamed on. Uh, misses with the first attack. No wait, no he hits with the first attack. Uh, does 9 damage. Hits with a second attack. And that's another dude dead. Dead. Is there any more of these abominations here? There is this guy in here. But I'll do him afterwards. I have lost track of how many people I've got on this map. Oh, there's this guy up here. There's just one more before that guy. And he's in combat with someone. Boop. Hits. Instantly kills the person. And it is going to try and make a deck save to leap down. And fails. You see this thing trip over the wall as it tries to jump and just crashes into the barrels here. Oh my. Uh, <coughs> yes, it is taking. Uh, 3d6 damage, because that was technically 30 foot it fell. 12. <laughs> At least it's hurting itself, you know. It's oh. not leaving it to us. You just hear the goofy scream from the <laughs> I would use some AoE spells. The problem is there are so many people in here that just can't be murdered. So, this guy... The one that you can't see is going to do slash r one d twenty plus two hits kills. He will do uh slash r one d six does two damage to himself. And. For those who were there for the session these abominations introduced, I think you know what's happening here. And I won't need to roll the other one. No, so. because when they were introduced, uh, we used Gaius and he ran away. So they didn't actually get to do anything on the episode that this dude was introduced. No, no, no. The abominations <laughs> were introduced. They were yeah. to try and do something, and it was revealed that their blood can infect people, and they use it to spray it as a thing to try oh, and infect that wasn't that wasn't the episode that these was, ones were introduced. They were in the, they were in Schmidt's lab. Oh, no, no, no. I'm and just they were going to attack for the similar thing. Oh, okay. Okay, Sorry. I thought they were the yeah. same thing. I apologize. No, that's my fault. I 
didn't differentiate that these are different types of abominations. These things do seem to be more canid in appearance. Uh, that makes um, sense now. Instead of having the long claws like it shows in the picture, it's more a case of their arms end in what should be stubs, but what seem to be their ornate battle swords are fused into their flesh and just sticking at the end. And they're using the doors to hit. Um, Lay. Yes. I've got to run for a quick second, um, and but I will be back. But if it gets to my turn order, or it gets to my turn, um, let me just, I just have to measure something. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Um, I'm just going to use poison spray. Okay. On whichever one of I'll move to closer to whichever one of these. Actually, I'll probably move closer to this one because this yeah. poor guy's all alone. And then I'll just poison spray it. Okay. I guess. I so yeah. These, these guys get plus three to hit because it is the normal little soldier's turn. This guy here fails his attack. The guy up near you, hello. Uh, defender wins, unfortunately. This guy here, he's going to try and be brave. He's going to rush up to try and have a go. And as she hits, we have competence on the 8 plus 1. Does five damage to it. Uh, who else was here? That's a soldier person. There's this guy here. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Oh wait, yeah, I've missed some stuff that I'll have to rectify at the end of this turn. So give me a second for that, because I just remembered something. Uh, he will hit for 5 damage on this one. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So you have to come down that way. Uh, fails. Yep, that's fine, that's fine. That is... L the soldier's little turn done. But before I move on to Una's turn, uh Alo, we have stuff to resolve. Yeah. How much damage does your little fairy thing do? It does depending on you're gonna make me scroll up to see if I can find this. Oh yeah, we need no, to make a wizard just... saving throw. Or we take three D eight. One the eight for every slot level above third. You cast it at fifth level, was it? Uh, no, I didn't cast it at fifth level. I cast okay. it at just the base level. Okay, so it would be three d eight, uh, radiant damage. And yeah. I need to pass on a DC fifteen wisdom save, which I can already tell you, uh, that's not going to go well. Because it's a flat 20 for the guards, which I need to make two of. Uh, fail. Pass. This lad here who just entered it is immune. Well, he's taking no damage. Oh, if they're not enemies, then they're not going to get damage. <laughs> no, no, no. It quite literally says you have to designate which ones you can see. He doesn't take oh, damage. Oh, yeah, that's right. And uh, given these guys are on top of the thing, you couldn't see them. That's why they had to do it. So, one guard's taking damage, and the abomination gets, on a wisdom save, minus one. Uh, Nat 20, he's taking no damage. Unfortunately, it's just this lad here taking uh, damage. <laughs> he's taking half damage, actually. Oh. And I rolled a 21 for damage. Which one's it taking half damage? 
Uh, the ones that pass, they take half damage. Uh, they're both nat 20 Ah. Uh, you know for that okay. kind of thing. <laughs> no, my brain didn't register That's the okay. nat 20. <laughs> I've been rolling a lot of nat 20s today. It's scary. It uh, just means that in any game you play in, aka mine on Monday, you're going to be socked. Yeah, I was waiting for it to backfire on tomorrow's game, and then David said it's not on. Mm. But either way, uh, Aloe and Cody, you do hear a thud come from the ramparts above you. Because I thought you that boy did. <laughs> no one tell Aloe. Aloe will have a terrible day. <laughs> Aloe. It's these fey creatures come out of nowhere and they just tear them, tear them a new one. <laughs> Keep up the good work. <laughs> uh, I will also say, given he's technically he's technically dead anyway, the norm in the wall, so no worries on that. Una. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Una stands. I don't know why I'm doing... Oh, yeah, it's because I refreshed the page. Una's sheet closed. Uh, Una is going to swing. And hits. For eight damage. Una... Uh, yeah, you watch Una run in. And Una quite literally just... Wallops this thing with him all. Just up the leg. Uh, Miasma. Hmm. It's 30 foot up. Miasma's going to move here and she's going to prepare to do something on the next turn. Oh, I heard a bloop. Oh, Miasma just came. Inferno just came back. Inferno, what would you like to do? That said. Calling me curious. What was I going to do? Uh, on the next, given that these walls are thirty foot high, on the next turn I was going to have a spider climb up to the top just to get her straight onto the rampart. Okay. I mean, technically, she could do that with a dash, I guess. So, 5, 10, oh, 15. Just... Oh, no, wait, a dash is a full action. Yeah, she won't be able to. So, she would have to go there in next yeah. turn and do the spider climb up. Or, technically, she could cast spider climb this turn and then get up there next turn and still have a spell to cast. So, yes, that is what she'll be doing for this turn. Hello. Yeah. It is your turn. Also, technically, yeah. given I could do that, given it was just 15 foot, uh, Miasma's halfway up the wall. <laughs> uh, if I can't see you, you might take the uh, No, you can't, You detonate the people at first by the sound of the spell. Who you can see, who doesn't just... take damage. And you saw the rest of your party behind you, so you could detonate all of them. Aside from Bamfliff, to not take damage. Ah. Okay. Bamfliff went in the other way. Right. So. We got the big boy right here. Yes, we do. I want to cast Sacred Flame on them. Okay. Uh, is that a save on my behalf or just a hit on yours? Uh... Why did it do that? I wanted that. There and we go. Save. 1D, yep. 20 plus 1. Uh, it fails, so it's taking the full 8 damage. Unless you're casting it beyond the cantrip. Oh, no, wait, no. Increases by that, which reach 5th level, so it's 2D8. But by the sounds of it, it that only rolled 1D8, so roll another D8. One more D8. That's a six. 
Okay, so it's taken 11 damage. Yeah. Yep, it did not like that, and it's definitely glaring over at you now. Or at least it seems to be turning its head and glaring between you and Una. Uh, I'm also going to move generally right here-ish. Okay. That's what Una needs that icon to. There we go. Uh, it would be Yules' turn. We have a Santa? Yes, it would be. I apologize. It's okay. So, Yules, me and Yules, still able to see. Uh, just looking. Yeah, that guy's a thing. Uh, Yules is going to go ahead and he's going to cast. Uh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. But, uh, well, I guess. Flaming Sphere. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's what I'm doing now. It wasn't what I wanted to do, but oh well, I already did it. Uh, yeah, Flaming Sphere on this dude here. Yep. So he needs to make a deck save. He does, yeah. Uh, he fails. He's taking 15. Uh, 15. That is... And then his next turn will be something special, too. Yep. There we go. Well, uh... He did not enjoy the fire. And I believe it is... Hydra yeah, and it is Golem. It's Hydra and Golem. So for the Hydra, mm -hmm. the Hydra is going to go ahead and he's going to use his fire teleport again. He's going to teleport over to these dudes. Oh, actually, no, wait, they're too far away. Never mind. He's going to do something different. Uh, instead, he is going to use Flame Seed, which is his range spell attack. Uh, and it's, he's just he's essentially going to check a fireball at this dude here. Okay. Make the attack. Make the range attack. Boo. Welcome back. Oh, that fucking misses. Yeah. It's more than two, but it 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 it, it misses. Uh which is sad. But oh well, now it's Earth Buddies. Earth Buddies gonna do his multi multi attack fun time. Yep. Go and do his slam um, jam. Banana slam. Yeah. So that is actually, that is actually a 23 and a 14. Uh, the 23 hits, the 14 misses. Cool. I'm going to say that word to me for a second then. And here comes the first attack, 29. Uh, that is going to be a total of 13 damage. Uh, yep. There we go. And then that is the end. Okay. So, yes. The first slam just catches him. The second one misses as his leg goes back from being hit slammed down. And we will get to a Trilix then. Yes. People are having fiery fun without you tricks them. Oh, that's sad. <gasps> oh, no. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I move okay. a little bit. Yep. I'll join the rest of the gang. You join the rest of the Scooby gang. From there, you yeah. will also be able to see these two. Now. So now you have two more targets. Wait, could you highlight it again? I wasn't. On uh, this guy that's in front of Una. And this yeah. guy over here. I'll go for the one near 
Una. Okay. And what spell are you using? Oh, my favorite spell. So, uh... Oh. <laughs> when my you said your favorite spell, spell, I was getting ready for it to have everyone roll the deck saves for a fireball. Oh, I'm not that mean. Uh, yeah. Oof. He gets pinged again. This time he realizes that's not that's not Alo shooting him. Although to be fair, it wasn't Trixon that shot him last time either. But now he knows shots are coming from the doorway, which is only protected by a little fluffy thing that is somehow holding swords. <laughs> Just a... I mean. I mean, you say that, but in order for him to actually get there, he has to get past a rock elemental, uh, another fluffy thing, and then a uh, kobold. He also and has he'll to be do... crossing one of our um, fields. He also has to duck down to get under the two. He also has to duck down to get under the thing itself. Yeah. Uh, so, Gress. Uh huh. Um. Hmm. How big are these? Um. Creatures, these, um... They are uh, quite large, the way they stand up to their full height. They, right. The position leaves them kind of hunched over, normally, hence why I've just classed them as large creatures. They're than... about trolls. Hmm. Do they fill a tenth of radius? Yes, they do. It's a... Yeah, ten foot radius. So from where Grace is, could you do a shatter on a shatter on one of them without hitting anybody else? Uh a shatter. What's the range of shatter? Like the uh, area? Ten radius it says. Yeah. Ten foot radius. If it's a ten foot radius then yes, you would be able to do it on someone without hurting them. Uh All right. like quite literally. If you aimed at say like here ish. You'd only be getting that guy and uh, no one else. I think. Yeah, everyone else has moved there, so. Yeah, ten, yeah. Uh, a foot radius sphere centered on that point must make. So is that still, still okay? Yeah, so if you did a uh, shatter on this point, it would hit this guy. Don't the, only the abomination. So, what save is it? All right. It is a constitution save. Uh, yeah, constitution for all. And well, where are we roll first? Uh, 17. Um, oh, yeah, they have to beat her spell thingy? Yeah, they have to beat her spell DC. Oh, her spell DC is 17. So it doesn't beat it. So uh. you will get full damage on this. Oh, okay. Cool. Thought we were going to... I mean, cool. Yes. No, absolutely. Awesome. Um, so that's 3d8 thunder damage? Uh, free, yep. Yes. Um, I'm getting sl slightly better with this uh, spell stuff now. So it is taking 22 damage. Oh, 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 oh. You just hear yeah. what, what sounds like some sort of like, I don't know, like, um, it's in like another language, but it's like this like rather like hiss-filled, angry yell towards the target. You will also hear a loud scream as this thing looks to the door. This thing knows now that's what's fucking ripped them from the door. Uh, it would be Cody. Cool. One second. It's okay. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna knock down that, that spell. Um, so... Cody, uh, is now... Where is this? Can I get to this guy? Uh, yeah. 
or yeah, he's the on the synonymy ground. of what or uh, is... the, these are the the guys in red like the little guys with the swords they're the uh rebels, uh, rebels. okay so he's on the ground but i can hit him from up here uh you're not on the plank you're underneath the plank, plank. Underneath the plank. okay uh so in that case i am going to go do do can i get to there uh, yes you can in fact by going there you can also get slightly up that little staircase there too <laughs> which means i do need to take that little icon off you because you're no longer underneath something yeah. Hit. Yep. Yeah. Hit. It crumples down and dies. Oh, okay. Just smacks it again for good measure. <laughs> it's just like it falls down. Just everyone just looking at it. Cody goes, no, 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 no. Double rule of double tap. And you just hit it again. To be fair, to be fair, I should have been rolling advantage with that. You should have been because that would be flanking. Yeah, but either way, doesn't matter now. Yeah. Uh, we'll move it there because it is to turn Draco. Turn grip. Oh god, I've zoomed all the way out. I've zoomed all the way in. What the I'm fuck is happening? <coughs> Where am I? Who are you people? I'm scared. Okay. 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 Uh, ban flick. Oh. Uh, I should also state as well before you make any attack, the the ban flick. Mm -hmm. Something that I forgot to do with this guy. This thing mm -hmm. is technically prone at the moment because it fell into the crates. <laughs> the creature. Yes. The creature fell off the wall because it failed on a deck save. So it's technically pro. Uh, alrighty. Well. And by technically, I mean it is literally pro on the ground. Uh, is this list like. Uh, speed? No, it does not. Damn. Okay. Well, then we're not doing that again. I was going to use Gust of Wind and just blow him through the wall and just be like, get the fuck out of here. But it doesn't <laughs> list a wind speed, so I can't really do that. Um, does the gentleman next to me look hurt at all? Uh, let me check. Uh... Let me check what their health's are. No, he's actually spitting. For... He's fine. He's a perfect. Okay, guy. so all of these people are just terribly weak. Yep, they're just using guard stats. <clears throat> well, then in that case. Fuck it. Sir, might I ask you to go somewhere generously far away? It just roars in your face. No, I was talking to the guard. Oh. <laughs> uh. Why, what have you got planned? I have a lot of things planned, but you can't be here. Okay, he will move away on his turn. Oh, wrong thing. Sorry. <laughs> he will move away on his turn. No, he won't. He goes to lift him up to eat him away. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought I was still on my spells page, though. And I, like, and I, like, looked over at the turn order and was like, yeah, this is the spell. Click, strength roll. What? <laughs> uh, well, then in that case... I guess for this turn, um, can I select targets on this one? You know what? Fuck it. If he gets stuck in here, it's his fault. <laughs> uh, spout from the ground on a 20-foot square starting from a point within range. So it's going to start 
Uh, da, 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 and I don't know if this affects me if I start it where I'm standing. Or actually, yeah. So where the creature is. And so, so the only person that would be getting affected by those things is him, the, the Lagarde, and. Yeah, and that's about it. The creature in the area when you cast a spell must succeed on that. It doesn't say that you're immune. <laughs> I'll, I'll fucking do a strength saving throw. I don't care. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> Fender um, wins, mother purse. So, so just uh, according, uh, so according to Wizards of the Coast, and uh, and Tingle does not affect the caster. Okay, thank you for that. I was just googling it then just yeah. to see. Yeah, it it does not affect the caster. Okay, so it's just these two that need to make it then. A strength plus one for the little guard here. He's not gonna make it, is he? No. Nope. So he is stuck there. Uh, I don't know why I clicked there, thinking that was their stats. I've got it in a note. I fell here, and these guys get this. But isn't he prone? He is, yes. Thank you for reminding me. The other thing I quite literally just said. I forgot. So yes, he automatically fails. So he is in he is wrapped up in roots and to the gentleman standing next to me. And Austin, I'm gonna ask you here, would I be able to just like release him? Um Mm, yes, but the issue is... I'd have to do it next turn. No, the issue is where you were standing. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. I just now thought about that. Why? Because that's where my flaming sphere is. Oh! It's on that, mo it's on that one. I forgot well, that the flaming sphere stays. It was never <laughs> put on the map. <laughs> yeah, that was my bad. I'll apologize for that. What do I mean? What am I taking for damage? I mean, wait, wait, hold up. Is lay? Is there? Uh, is the icon true to the creature size? Uh, yes, yes, it is. Okay, you may not have to take anything. Well, no, because my icon okay. is not true to my size. It, it, I am yes, a large. I am a large you, creature, and I it's can't. Not, it's not about <laughs> you being true to your size. It's about being true to the enemy size. You oh. are not within the radius. It just covers the enemy. Okay. So you're good. You are good. I do still have to grow myself up, which lay you're gonna have to do that because it won't let me do it. Uh, you count as a large creature, don't you? Yes, I'm eleven feet tall. It does mean that you do also have to make one. You don't have to make the thing for uh the flame sphere, but you do have to make one thing. Hmm. Uh, I believe it was a wisdom cool. save there, Rana. Eat it. <laughs> Plus nine to my wisdom saving throw. You do still take some damage from oh, Spirit that Guardian. That is fine. How much? You take seven damage. Yeah. Nothing. So as you move there, and you just slam your sun down to wrap these two into vines and roots you feel little fairies just gnawing and pulling away at your bark and that is when <laughs> that is that is a small problem <laughs> there is somebody in there that would not <laughs> like you gnawing at his home and this is where the mushrooms come from. A little mushroom nature spirit pokes his head out, and he's pretty much just like a little mushroom with like arms and legs. He doesn't really have like a face. And he would just like grab a piece of my bark and just start beating the nature the, the face spirits with it. He'd be like, get the f off my goddamn property, you pieces of shit. <laughs> this is my home. His oh, name is Willem. Get off my property! 
<laughs> Willem. Willem the Mushroom. There are, there are two more of them, by the way, that have not yet get been up. introduced. But I love my Scott! nature spirits. <laughs> Go, get him off my property! <laughs> get actually, him off my property! Actually, it's funny that you mentioned Daisy, because technically Daisy is one of the nature spirits that I have. Get off my property! <laughs> so, this boy here is restrained and he's going to have to roll a strip save to try and break out. And it fails, it's still restrained. It's also it's also funny because he needs to make another dexterity saving throw. He can't. <laughs> he he can't. And fails, so he's taking more damage. <laughs> Sweet, I love it. We work well together when we don't communicate, Yules. We work well together when we don't communicate. We do. So while you're doing that, you set his ass on fire, I'll hold him down. Um, that's another 15 points of damage. Damn. It is fire damage. I don't know if that means anything. It doesn't, uh, unfortunately. It'll probably it burn is. all the roots These away. Have but... Weaknesses, but they do have some resistances and immunities. I'm assuming fire is not on either of those lists. Uh, no, in fact, I messed something up there, so I'm going to actually remove a resistance there, so I don't have to go back and try and remember shit. Because just above board, they, I did make them to be resistance to bludgeoning. Then I remember that's technically what Una's weapon is, and I can't be asked going back to try and change that stuff. So. Fuck it, they've lost a resistance. I don't care. DM ruling. They've lost a resistance. Uh, not one. The guard gets an attack of opportunity. Can he be entangled, though? It's not that guy. That guy automatically oh. failed. We're oh. breaking out of the thing, so... Uh, this is... Plus three to hit. And one D eight plus one. Would uh, it be okay if I jumped off now? Uh, and... That's fine, don't worry. Uh, let me just quickly check I... the time. Turns a bit away. Isn't it? Yep. I'll, I'll say that I'll finish off this uh, tur round of turns. And then I'll probably call it there for tonight. Alright. So don't worry too much. Yeah, that guy right, cool. Uh, that guy there who's broken into that house. Um. That guy's running Thank all the you. way back here to try and get back there. Can't get back to the fire spirit just yet. This guy will go here and try and break mm. into the other door. And fails. Uh, yeah, sorry, I'm super exhausted. Um, That's fine, don't worry. I'll see ya. Yep. That's a net twenty. And uh, yeah, that's a that's a dead soul that's another dead soldier. Ooh. I believe we only have <sighs> one more guy to, which is down here getting kind of sandwiched, so uh, hits. Doesn't kill one yet, but it gets advantage on him. <coughs> advantage on him, same number twice. That's another guy dead. And before I move on to the soldiers, uh, indeed, it is time for... Oh, no, wait. He died. He's not in the range of you anymore, Ella, so you don't need to take that. So it is just soldiers' turn. How many soldiers are still left? Is that guy up here? One, two, three, four. Yeah, just four of them. There's. And he hits. For four damage. And just this guy down here, I believe, is left before I have to make strength saves for, to try to get him to break out. Oh yeah. Nope. Nope. Oh wait, no, I did forget someone. I did forget someone. Isn't there a guy up here still with you two? Yes. Five, ten, 
15, 20, 25, 30. He will have to make a save for you, Allo. And this guy here will have to make a strength save to try and break out, which is a plus one. Uh, before you... I just want to... Okay. I'm just going to scroll up for this. And it was a wisdom save, wasn't it, Allo? Which is a flat 20. Yeah. Not one. Oh no. Roll so, any creature entering this zone, this zone is considered difficult terrain and they must roll strength saving throws in order to attack or fire spells. That's fine. It doesn't matter too much because. Hello? You hear this guy go, yeah. don't worry, don't worry, I'm going to help, I'm going to help. And as soon as he gets to the stairs, you see him drip on some of the difficult terrain, and the furries just tear into him as his body just falls down the stairs, so he just falls into the water. Furries just grab him. <laughs> like piranhas, you just see him whirl around him, that's right. That's right. and then a skeleton's left. Have you seen the second Hellboy film? Yeah, yeah, it's just the fucking tooth fairies. The, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could make it even more terrifying. Whoa. You could make it like the Vash Narada from Doctor Who. He Whoa. was just going through the air. The face spirits are, were invisible at the time, and as he fell through the air, he just turned to bone. So given it's his difficult terrain, he is going to have difficulty getting out there, so he... What was it? Strength saving. Well, it's treated as difficult terrain. Yeah. So it's um, half movement then. Yeah, so he gets half movement. The right. guy who's prone, I believe, is. Yeah, so the guy who's prone is able to move as long as he can get up, but I don't know if a creature can get up on difficult terrain or if he... it just costs their entire movement. Yeah. He wasn't. The guard wasn't prone. He's the problem on the monsters. The monster failed. Well, that's what I was wondering, because, yeah. like. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway. We'll just continue. Because after this round, it's... I was just looking at it. It's over. Right. Uh, I as believe. As I yeah. said, I was just finishing off that round before I close it out for today, because it is coming up to two and a half hours recorded. <clears throat> That's a good enough time to close it. Especially given that I feel like this combat may go on for a bit. So... Who is doing the outro? How many people do we have here? Baby Zamtros, do 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 do. Baby Zamtros, do 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 do. Baby Zamtros. There those zombies, do 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 do. So zombies. Do, do, I love the fact that it's like, yeah. In today's session is closing. Everyone just seems to be getting hyper for Monster Hunter. <laughs> I was playing it at the beginning. <laughs> I know you were. I heard you. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could, I could hear it. It was fun. <laughs> Anyway, thank you all for tuning in this week to Devil Darlings, and we'll see you all next time. Bye.